Hi. Uh, in the last session, we have discussed about function, how we can declare a function. So we have seen that an example of printing uh, the hello world. Then we have seen how we can make a function call and then how to define a function. Right? This particular simple example of printing hello world using a function. Right. So now you have seen that uh, a function has a return type, a function will be having some kind of list of arguments. Based on this, a function can be categorized into four types. Number one, no return type, no arguments. So we don't have any kind of return types. The function will be not returning any values and there will be no arguments. So we are not passing any values into it. Okay. So next we have return type. So function will be return time some value, but we're not going to take any kind of arguments. Then third category, no return types, but the function will be taking some arguments. And lastly, it will be a return type uh, with uh, also arguments. So both return type and arguments will be there. So in the last class, whatever problem that we have seen, you know, printing out this hello world is a perfect example of, you know, no return type and no arguments. Because you can see, the return type is void, means nothing is returning and we don't have any kind of arguments. So we are not passing anything in this particular function call. So in the subsequent session, we will be discussing each of this with, uh, with one particular example that is addition of two numbers and we will try to understand each of these categories that is no return type, no arguments, return type, we will have the return type with no arguments, then no return type but with arguments and you know return type with arguments thank you